please hit the like and subscribe. Thank you. In our society says, cater to the woman, make her happy. And the Holy Spirit had to check me. He was like, your relationship is lopsided. So for my wives, stop putting pressure on your husband to make you happy. Find those things that you enjoy and do that. And let your husband, your partners, let, let their love be icing on the cake. Happy wife, happy life? Well, kind of. But what if we have it just a little bit backwards? What if by keeping our husbands happy, we get it returned to us tenfold? Now, this is just a theory. I'm just some dumb internet idiot. But I'll tell you something. I'm a selfish person. It may not seem like it, but I spent a long time thinking of myself first. And not until recently did I realize it was just making me more miserable. My husband is honestly constantly trying to give me everything that I want to need. But I would still feel anxious and unsatisfied. And it recently dawned on me. Am I doing the same for him? And I had a meltdown because I realized, no, I wasn't. I thought I was, but it was just surface level stuff. And ever since then, I've been making a very conscious effort to put myself last. What does my husband need? How can I assist him? How can I make his life better? And I feel so much better. Finally, somebody else gets it. It is so refreshing when a woman realizes that a man cannot make her happy. Both of you can only ever add to each other's happiness. And I truly believe the reality is, is that most men know this. What this woman is about to say, only a few women know and understand. Like I said in past videos, I was friends with an adult ex-film actress. Not only did she understood this, but she also demonstrated it. She was the only woman I know who demonstrated this. Not even the women in my family understood or demonstrated it. One of my female friends said that she only understood this was because of her past profession. She said it was like a put down as if the woman was trying to get over or manipulate. Some stuff women say is ridiculous. If you understand what the buyer wants, what the customer wants, and give him what he wants, then you are gonna make more sales compared to the other salesmen. It will give you a leg up and make you stand out. So yes, because of her past, she knew that she had to make herself stand out. Showed that she was better than all the other women that did not have the same type of past. Kevin Samuels kept telling women to give men what they want and many looked at him as if he was wrong or said something crazy. That women should not have to change for a man. That they are perfect and beautiful just as they are. And men should accept them the way they are. Men are not asking women to change. We're asking women to be more considerate and understanding. Women do not want a man who is fat, so a man do not want a woman who is also fat. Do not ask us for stuff that you are not willing to give. So women say they do not want to cook and clean for their man. Yet you cook and clean for yourself. When your man comes home from work, it will take an extra 10 minutes to cook an additional portion. And most of the time, not even that long. Another five minutes to take a plate out of the cabinet, put food on it, and put it on the table. Yet, some women find it difficult to spend an extra 15 minutes a day for someone who they say they care and love. I keep saying that these types of women are spoiled, lazy, and entitled. Children in adult bodies. I'm about to put some women on game and tell you something that you may have never heard. A woman's value lies in the intangible things where a man's value lies in the tangible things. Okay. What do I mean by this? Men are providers, protectors, and professors, meaning everything that they do is more physical. The money, the protecting physically, emotionally, mentally, spiritually, all of that stuff. Um, whereas women are the nurturers. So where a woman's value lies is how does she make her man feel? Does she uplift him with his words? Can he trust her? Is she loyal? Does she support his dreams? Does he she, does she take care of his legacy? Meaning if he gives her a home, how does she nourish it and steward it? Women are the warmth to a man's life. A man can have a house and it can feel a little cold. When a woman comes in, she decorates it. She makes it more homey and feels good. So a woman's value lies in the feeling she brings to a man where a man is more of the physical aspect. That's why a lot of men will tell you with money that they don't care about your money and they don't care about your degrees and they don't care about all of that stuff. Now, some men don't mind an ambitious woman. So just because you have those things doesn't mean that you're less valuable. But what I'm saying is that's not where your value lies. 
So if you are a woman who is solid, who is respectful, she knows how to talk to her man. She can uplift her man with her words. She can support his dreams. She does not tear him down. She creates a safe space where he can be vulnerable and lay his armor at the door. If she's not going to use his weaknesses against him, if she's going to steward what he gives her well, then you are rare and you are a valuable woman. So if you are that type of woman, understand that your standards need to be up here because we don't know what our value is as women. So we settle for the stuff down here when you should be really aiming for the stuff up here because every woman isn't like you. I just got an email from my bank saying that my deposit was made today. I didn't make a deposit today and half my home loan's gone. Really? Did someone accidentally put money into my home loan? Not accidentally. Well, I didn't do this. I come from what? Hey. Okay, I don't know what's going on. It's, what? It was me. What? I paid for it. Why? Because you deserve it and you do so much for me. What? All the time, every day. What? Yeah. How? Hey. hey. How? Hey. What the? Hey, come here. You deserve it. Okay? What? I love you so much. No. Dude, why did you do that? Because I love you, babe. Much cake. No, it's not. It's like it's not even enough. I don't get that. Hey. How did you do that, Kate? I called from bank and I made the payment. Don't. No. I don't want that, Kate. Hey, no. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. You do. Like, why did you, you do that? Because I love you and you're going to be my husband. Every single good thing in this world, okay? And that's like, way too much, Kate. It's not even enough. in my life as a stay-at-home mom to a 43 month old and 21 month old i got started on breakfast right away this morning we're having an apple cinnamon dutch baby some milk came for me last time i made this because you call it something else which is totally fine you it may be a german pancake a puff pancake or a yorkshire pudding all are delicious but it's the same thing anyways i finished breakfast and got the boys fed before i made my first coffee of the day this machine is new and as you may know i have been working on my latte art and i must say i am getting pretty good like please look at this puffy white cloud i made this morning after breakfast i got everybody ready for the day it's it's the weekend, so we have the day off of homeschool, but Archie does have dance class this morning. The weather was so nice today, so after dance, we headed home and got changed. I packed some lunches, and we are heading to the park. We went for a little hike. The boys found some walking sticks, and then we searched for leaves that we could do some leaf rubbings with. This is such a fun activity. If you haven't done it before, you just lay down leaves with paper on top and then color over it with crayon, and it reveals the pattern of the leaves. My boys love doing this. Then we had some lunch. My lunch was whatever the boys didn't want to finish. Next, we headed home for nap. I freshened up, made myself another coffee. Please tell me if you can guess what this design is we're having pizza for dinner tonight so i got started on the dough for that while they slept and that was pretty much our day and the pizza turned out amazing dressing up as my husband's perfect guy christmas gift to see his reaction oh. baby merry christmas <laughs> I'm to bring you some holiday cheer. Amanda, <laughs> you really did it. <laughs> I have a question. Have you been naughty or nice? I've been nice, babe. I don't this know. year I've been nice. You actually did it. The tinsels, <laughs> the lights, the, the jingle bell. The glitter on the ladies. <laughs> the ladies need to be accessorized. Babe, you look from Diliumptious. Is my present edible? <laughs> <laughs> There's a couple desserts in here. Oh, girl! <laughs> No, no, forget about the diet. It's holiday season. Can I open up my gift? No, no, sir. It is not Christmas morning. Baby, I'm gonna open up my gift right now. I'm opening up. Babe, no, <laughs> babe, I'm not. Really <laughs> <hard. laughs> this is exactly what every man wants for Christmas. Tell me I'm wrong. On hearing that her elderly grandfather has just passed away, Mary goes straight to her grandparents' house to visit her 95-year-old grandmother and comfort her. When she asks how her grandfather has died, her grandmother replies, He had a heart attack while we were making love on Sunday morning. Horrified, Mary tells her grandmother that two people nearly 100 years old making love 
will surely be asking for trouble. Oh no, my dear. Many years ago, realizing our advanced age, we figured out the best time to do, it was when the church bells would start to ring. It was just the right rhythm. It was nice, slow, and even. Nothing too strenuous, simply in on the ding and out on the dong. She pauses, wipes away a tear, and then continues. And if that damned ice cream truck hadn't come along, he'd still be alive today.